It came to me last night, I mean suddenly, like out of nowhere. As if it was, it was a revelation. It was so simple. So terribly simple. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I'm not a video type of guy, so uh, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I wanted to, um, I wanted to film some stuff. I mean, so if you're watching this and I'm not with you, that means I'm either, I'm either badly injured or I'm, I'm dead. These things I'm seeing, I can't explain. If I can just get this thing working. My, my dog Star is actually the main reason for doing this. Uh, she's cool for now, but yeah, you are. <laughs> but for the past few days, she was, uh, she was acting really weird. I've been observing this large flock of blackbirds around here. I mean, they, in, they occupy an entire treetop. I mean, hell, they have all the treetops. And then suddenly, in a split second, they'll just spring out, spring out, <laughs> spring out into the air and they'll just fly away. It's crazy, man. The stars weren't thick enough to, to, to define whatever it was outline. And it was... That's it! That's it! Damn it! How may I help you? John, FBI. I need to see Sheriff Pierce. Is this something... Urgent? Yeah, it's urgent. All right. Hold one second, please. Sheriff Andrew Pierce states that everything in this case points to an accident, but the death remains under investigation by his office and the Ohio Department of Fish and Wildlife. <phone rings> Mr. Morgan was a longtime resident of Medina County. And yes. FBI? Cinnamon. Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning. Have a seat. Thanks. What's this about? Your uh, bear case? You see, Sheriff, uh, the man who died, Mr. Morgan, he had a uh, pretty extensive record with us. I do need to inform you that as of right now, the FBI is taking over this investigation. On what grounds? This case is a possible accidental death. It's still under our investigation. I understand how you feel, Sheriff, but uh, what you don't know is that before he died, Mr. Morgan 
informed our office that he was being threatened by a known terrorist organization. So. So I assume you want us to turn over all our evidence. Also need to make sure that you keep this very confidential. Okay, nothing leaks to the media or any of the locals. We don't need any of that uh, fake news out there on the social networks, right? Just consider this a uh, matter of national security, okay? So, I assume that uh, you can have all the case files ready for me in a few hours? I'll be back to pick them up. Never guess who left our neighborhood? The feds. You're Professor Harker, correct? Have we met before? No, I just make it my business to find out about people who fascinate me. Oh, and uh, my condolences. Thank you. Uh, what fascinates you about me? Well, rumor has it that you recently had a, shall we say, otherworldly encounter? H how did you find out about an otherworldly encounter? Are, are you a journalist? Like I said, I make it my business. I study phenomena like this, and I'd love to hear all about it. Uh, in fact, I'm about to produce a television show for a major TV network about supernatural subjects. I'm an investigative reporter, and I kind of have a sixth sense about all things odd and creepy. A TV show? Like one of those news magazines on prime time? I can feel it. You are somehow connected to something much bigger than either one of us can comprehend. If you watch TV, you can chase a kitty cat. You like having a nice warm blankie. A oh, star, yeah. Who's that? Let's go see. Can't be the mail, man. We got the mail already. Yes? Are you Barbara Morgan? Can I help you? My condolences, ma'am. I have just a few questions regarding your brother's possessions. My uncle's death was a, a bizarre experience. I, I, I guess it gained so much media attention. Pronto, Giovanni? È stato fatto? E l'indirizzo? Ci vedremo fra 15 minuti. You're Italian. Oh, my network's co-producer is from Rome for another project. Billy, I've got to get to Cleveland right away for a conference call. I know how to reach you. We'll talk soon.